Hey guys, this is kind of a weird video, but I was just in the middle of making other videos regarding the Nexico web Nexigo webcam and the app that you can get to control the webcam, which I think is super important. So I talked about in another video how to install that package, which is kind of troublesome. If you have trouble with that, that video will help you. If you can't find it, let me know. Then I talked about how to control it with that app that you've downloaded and installed. And I want to talk to you guys about part two of how to control this thing. And first of all, you'll notice um, that I am using this webcam. This is not my Nexigo webcam. This is my webcam from my original computer. This is what we want to avoid, right? So we can go to Nexigo webcams right here. So we're using this one now. Okay, so this is the video coming from the new webcam that I just purchased. You'll see that the 60 frames per second is a pretty big deal. It really helps with the more natural look and the microphone sound I can hear and speak through this thing and uh, that's because here um, for the microphone I'm using the Jabra Evolve link that's this okay I'm just making sure it knows how to use it uh, the other part of this video um, that I want to go through um, is what to do when you're using this stuff these accessories and even after doing that in your app, it still does not register. There's still not the right sound coming in. It's not recording the sound from here. It's recording the sound from your Nexigo's webcam, for example. It's recording sound from the speakers in your laptop, which are terrible. What can you do? You want to go to this Apple, um, what do you call it? The icon in the top left-hand corner of your screen if you're a Mac user. In the PC, I'm sure it's similar. Go to System Preferences. Okay, this is the menu um, for how you control your computer. Go to Sound. And then here, I've already had it selected. But sometimes it will deselect itself, and you will need to check every time you do a meeting, every time you go to work on the Internet, you'll have to see and make sure that the sound, even though it's registering, you see the level going, you have to make sure that it's recording the right sound. Because to you, it sounds fine. But to the person on the receiving end, is like, why does it sound like this person is in a tin can? It's because you think the sound is coming from here, when really it's coming from here or here or any other, uh, accessory you might have plugged in at the moment. So here I have this one. I'm making sure of that by clicking on it. Um, on the Mac, you just leave it like that. On the input, you can also have it here. So you can just tap it. And you'll see that the level responds. Okay. Again, look here. You can have an internal microphone. You can use a Nexigo N660P. I'll use that right now. Right. Okay, that's different. I'm back here now. I'm using a different mic there. Okay, so I'm going to close out of that. So we talked about how to make sure you're using the right accessory that you want to use. The other second part of this video I want to discuss was this uh, Nexigo's app that we've already discussed. I've already kind of screwed around too much with the um, things here. Um, okay. So that looks okay by me right now. Uh, look here at the other tabs. We have adjustments and we have the advanced adjustments. This might be even more interesting. Click on advanced and you'll see here that there's pan. Um, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I don't know what that means. Tilt. I don't know what that means. This is why it's in the advanced tab, I guess. And we have the roll. I don't see any difference. Maybe I got to let it go. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, what the? <laughs> I see. I'm dragging it for like a preview, but you have to let it go. I don't see any difference here. Okay, so you'll see that the exposure is clicked on auto, and focus is clicked on auto. Sorry for the plosives in my microphone. This is new. So I'm going to click off the exposure, and then now I can mess around with it manually. Okay, I think this is good if you are in a studio and there's a constant level there. So I just put it back on auto for auto's sake, and I think it works okay. That's kind of the 
good thing about having a webcam, um, something that's dedicated for sound as well as video, it's going to be higher quality and the control is going to be better. The automatic functions are going to be better than the automatic functions on your webcam that's installed in your computer. So, you know, it's way better than you were before. However, being able to control that is better than that. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, be sure to check what accessories you're using by going into the control panel, by going into the settings uh, like I showed you, and also this app as well for your Nexigo's webcam. Now, if you have a different webcam, the same principle applies. Maybe you can go to that website for Logitech, for example, and look or call in and say, do you guys have an app that controls your webcam on my operating platform for my Mac or PC? Maybe they have one too. So check it out. I didn't know. I actually bought one on the App Store, which I hated. So this works well for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.